I've summed up my 10 takeaways and thoughts about this book in this video. I highly recommend you to read the original book of the author. Trading Price Action Trends by Al Brooks is a comprehensive guide to trading trends in financial markets. Here are 10 main points from the book. 1. Price action is the most important indicator for trading trends, and traders should focus on analyzing charts rather than relying on technical indicators. 2. Trends can be identified by analyzing the sequence of higher highs and higher lows in an uptrend, or lower highs and lower lows in a downtrend. 3. Trends can also be classified as major, intermediate, and minor, depending on the duration and strength of the trend. 4. Traders should use multiple timeframes to identify trends and confirm their analysis. 5. Price action can be used to identify support and resistance levels, which can help traders enter and exit trades. 6. Traders should use stop-loss orders to limit their risk and protect their capital. 7. Trend lines can be used to identify the direction of the trend and potential entry and exit points. 8. Reversal patterns such as double tops and bottoms, head and shoulders, and triangles can signal the end of a trend and the beginning of a new one. 9. Trading psychology is critical to success, and traders should remain disciplined, patient, and focused on their strategy. 10. Successful traders have a well-defined trading plan, and they continuously review and adjust their plan based on their performance and market conditions. Point 1 in Trading Price Action Trends suggests that price action is the most important indicator for trading trends, and that traders should rely on analyzing charts rather than technical indicators. Price action refers to the movement of the market, including the highs, lows, and the patterns that emerge on charts. Technical indicators, on the other hand, use mathematical calculations based on price and volume to identify potential trades. Brooks argues that technical indicators can be misleading because they are lagging indicators, meaning that they are based on past prices and cannot predict future prices. Traders who rely solely on technical indicators risk missing important signals and trends in the market. By contrast, price action is a leading indicator because it provides real-time information on market movements. Analyzing price action involves studying charts, identifying patterns and trends, and using that information to make trading decisions. Therefore, Brooks suggests that traders who want to succeed in trading trends should focus primarily on analyzing price action and not rely too heavily on technical indicators. By doing so, traders can gain a better understanding of the market and make more informed trading decisions. Point 2 in Trading Price Action Trends suggests that trends can be identified by analyzing the sequence of higher highs and higher lows in an uptrend, or lower highs and lower lows in a downtrend. Essentially, a trend is a series of price movements that are consistently moving in a certain direction over a period of time. In an uptrend, the market will consistently make higher highs and higher lows as buyers dominate sellers, leading to an overall increase in price. In a downtrend, the market will consistently make lower highs and lower lows as sellers dominate buyers, leading to an overall decrease in price. To identify these trends, traders need to look at the overall direction of price movement on a chart and identify the sequence of highs and lows. Once a trend has been identified, traders can use that information to make informed trading decisions such as entering a long position in an uptrend or shorting in a downtrend. It's worth noting that trends can occur at multiple timeframes, from short-term trends that last for a few minutes to long-term trends that last for months or even years. Traders who can identify trends at different timeframes and take advantage of them can be successful in trading trends. Point 3 in Trading Price Action Trends suggests that trends can be classified as major, intermediate, and minor, depending on their duration and strength. Major trends are the longest and most significant trends, lasting for months or even years, and can be identified by analyzing weekly or monthly charts. Intermediate trends are shorter in duration and typically last for a few weeks to a few months, and can be identified by analyzing daily or hourly charts. 
These trends may occur within a major trend or be part of a counter-trend move. Minor trends are the shortest and least significant trends, lasting only a few days or less, and can be identified by analyzing minute or tick charts. These trends may occur within intermediate or major trends or be part of a counter-trend move. Understanding the different types of trends can be helpful for traders in making informed trading decisions. For example, traders who are interested in long-term investments may focus on major trends, while traders interested in short-term trades may focus on intermediate or minor trends. It's worth noting that trends can change at any time, and traders need to remain vigilant and be prepared to adjust their trading strategy accordingly. By analyzing trends at different time frames and understanding their characteristics, traders can improve their chances of success in trading trends. Point 4 in Trading Price Action Trends suggests that traders should use multiple time frames to identify trends and confirm their analysis. By looking at different time frames, traders can get a more comprehensive view of the market and better understand the overall trend. For example, a trader interested in a long-term investment may analyze a weekly chart to identify a major trend while also looking at a daily chart to identify intermediate trends and potential entry and exit points. Similarly, a trader interested in a short-term trade may analyze a five-minute chart to identify minor trends and potential entry and exit points, while also looking at a 15-minute or hourly chart to identify intermediate trends. Using multiple time frames can also help traders confirm their analysis. For example, if a trader sees a potential trend reversal on a short-term chart, they may confirm this by looking at a longer-term chart to see if the reversal is part of a larger trend. It's worth noting that traders should be cautious about analyzing too many time frames, as this can lead to analysis paralysis and confusion. Traders should focus on the time frames that are most relevant to their trading strategy and goals. Overall, Using multiple timeframes can help traders get a more complete view of the market and make more informed trading decisions. Point 5 in Trading Price Action Trends suggests that traders should use trend lines to identify and confirm trends. A trend line is a straight line that connects two or more significant price points and is used to identify the direction of a trend. In an uptrend, a trend line is drawn by connecting two or more successive lows, and in a downtrend, a trend line is drawn by connecting two or more successive highs. Once the trend line is drawn, traders can use it as a guide to identify potential entry and exit points and to confirm the strength of the trend. Trend lines can also be used to identify trend channels, which are formed by drawing a parallel line to the trend line on the opposite side of the price action. Trend channels can help traders identify potential support and resistance levels and make informed trading decisions. However, it's important to note that trend lines can be subjective and prone to interpretation and therefore should be used in conjunction with other analysis techniques. Traders should also be aware of false breakouts, which occur when price breaks through a trend line but quickly reverses direction. Overall, Trend lines can be a useful tool for traders to identify and confirm trends, but should be used in combination with other analysis techniques and with a thorough understanding of their limitations. Point 6 in Trading Price Action Trends suggests that traders should use price patterns to identify trends and potential trading opportunities. Price patterns are formations that occur on price charts and are used to identify the direction of the trend and potential areas of support and resistance. There are many different price patterns, such as head and shoulders, triangles, and flags, and each pattern has its own characteristics and trading implications. For example, a head and shoulders pattern is typically a bearish reversal pattern, while a flag pattern is typically a continuation pattern. Traders can use price patterns to identify potential entry and exit points, as well as to confirm the strength of the trend. For example, if a trader sees a head and shoulders pattern forming in an uptrend, this may indicate that the trend is about to reverse and that it may be time to exit long positions or enter short positions. However, 
It's important to note that price patterns can be subjective and prone to interpretation, and therefore should be used in conjunction with other analysis techniques. Traders should also be aware of false signals, which occur when a price pattern appears to be forming but does not actually result in a significant price movement. Overall, price patterns can be a useful tool for traders to identify trends and potential trading opportunities, but should be used in combination with other analysis techniques and with a thorough understanding of their limitations. Point 7 in Trading Price Action Trends suggests that traders should use price action signals to identify potential trading opportunities. Price action signals are specific patterns or formations that occur on price charts and are used to identify potential areas of support and resistance, as well as entry and exit points. Some common price action signals include pin bars, inside bars, and engulfing bars, each of which has its own characteristics and implications. For example, a pin bar is a candlestick pattern that has a small body and a long wick or shadow and can indicate a potential reversal in the trend. Traders can use price action signals in conjunction with other analysis techniques to confirm the strength of the trend and identify potential entry and exit points. For example, if a trader sees a pin bar forming at a key level of support or resistance, this may indicate a potential reversal in the trend and a good opportunity to enter or exit a position. However, it's important to note that price action signals can be subjective and should be used in conjunction with other analysis techniques to confirm the validity of the signal. Traders should also be aware of false signals, which occur when a price action signal appears to be forming but does not actually result in a significant price movement. Overall, price action signals can be a useful tool for traders to identify potential trading opportunities but should be used in combination with other analysis techniques and with a thorough understanding of their limitations. Point 8 in Trading Price Action Trends suggests that traders should use moving averages to identify trends and potential trading opportunities. A moving average is a technical indicator that smooths out price action over a specific period of time and is used to identify the direction of the trend. There are many different types of moving averages, such as Simple Moving Averages SMA, and Exponential Moving Averages EMA, each of which has its own characteristics and trading implications. For example, a trader may use a 50-day SMA to identify the direction of the trend and a 20-day EMA to identify potential entry and exit points. Traders can use moving averages to identify potential areas of support and resistance as well as to confirm the strength of the trend. For example, if the price is trading above a long-term moving average, such as a 200-day SMA, this may indicate that the trend is bullish and that it may be a good time to enter long positions. However, it's important to note that moving averages can be prone to lag and may not always accurately reflect current market conditions. Traders should also be aware of false signals, which occur when the price briefly crosses above or below a moving average but quickly reverses direction. Overall, moving averages can be a useful tool for traders to identify trends and potential trading opportunities, but should be used in combination with other analysis techniques and with a thorough understanding of their limitations. Point 9 in Trading Price Action Trends suggests that traders should use trend lines to identify trends and potential trading opportunities. A trend line is a straight line that connects two or more price points and is used to identify the direction of the trend. Traders can use trend lines to identify potential areas of support and resistance, as well as to confirm the strength of the trend. For example, if a trader sees an uptrend with a series of higher lows and higher highs, they can draw an ascending trend line that connects the lows. If the price continues to respect this trend line, it may indicate that the trend is strong and that it may be a good time to enter long positions. However, it's important to note that trend lines can be subjective and may not always accurately reflect current market conditions. Traders should also be aware of false signals which occur when the price briefly crosses above or below a trend line but quickly reverses direction. 
Traders can also use trend line breaks to identify potential reversal points in the trend. If the price breaks below a rising trend line or above a falling trend line, this may indicate that the trend is about to reverse and that it may be a good time to exit long positions or enter short positions. Overall, trend lines can be a useful tool for traders to identify trends and potential trading opportunities but should be used in combination with other analysis techniques and with a thorough understanding of their limitations. Point 10 in trading price action trends suggests that traders should use multiple time frames to confirm the strength of the trend and identify potential trading opportunities. By analyzing price action across multiple time frames, traders can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the trend and potential entry and exit points. Traders can use longer-term time frames, such as daily or weekly charts, to identify the overall direction of the trend, and shorter-term time frames, such as 1-hour or 15-minute charts, to identify potential entry and exit points. For example, if a trader sees an uptrend on a daily chart, they can switch to a shorter-term time frame to identify potential entry points. If the price is trading above a key level of support or resistance on the shorter term time frame, this may indicate a good opportunity to enter long positions. However, it's important to note that using multiple time frames can be time consuming and may result in conflicting signals. Traders should also be aware of false signals, which occur when the price briefly crosses above or below a key level of support or resistance, but quickly reverses direction. Overall, Using multiple time frames can be a useful tool for traders to confirm the strength of the trend and identify potential trading opportunities, but should be used in combination with other analysis techniques and with a thorough understanding of their limitations. Thank you for your interest in this book. Please leave your feedback on these thoughts in the comments below or just put a like on this video. It will help me stay motivated and make more videos like this. In the description of this video, you may find links where you can purchase this book.